What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. And I got another oops. I got another quick tutorial for you guys. So I'm gonna show you how you can uh change your Steam game uh logos. And it's actually really easy. So not only can you change uh, this, but you can also uh, change this as well if you wanted to. I kind of like this one, so I'm going to keep this one. But what we're going to do is we're going to give GTA a new cover. And... Uh, how you do that is by going to this web page right here. Let me go, let me go back. Steam Grid DB. And, uh, basically this is a website where you can come and get, uh, covers for your games. Uh, one prime example is One prime example is this with the PS2 emulator. All of these covers I got from this website. Minimize this. All right. So, like I said, we're going to do GTA. So, we're going to go, we're going to search for Grand Theft Auto. And there it is right like there. And I am surprised how well GTA 5 is doing, considering how old it is. Because it came out in 2015 on the PS3 and Xbox 360. And now it has even more content thanks to the next-gen consoles and PC. But yeah, as you can see, we have a couple of different uh, covers that you can choose from. I don't even want from specifically Grand Theft Auto Online. That's kind of cool. Because I think you can get GTA, uh, GTA Online separately now, like they did with uh, Red Dead Redemption. Well, this one's a this one's kind of a, a nice one, nice scenic view, kind of thing. This one right here comes with the um, I forget what they call that bundle. So I think what I'm gonna do, oh. Bro, they got animated ones too. That's awesome. That is so cool. I like that one. And hey, look at this one. This one doesn't even look like GTA. It kind of looks like it's like a, some kind of fighting game or something. And then you got banners that you can choose from. I wonder if any of these are animated. Oh, well, you can go with the classic one if you want. That's kind of cool. And you got uh, icons that you can choose from. So yeah, a lot of customize customization options here. And I think these, I think these are for the desktop icons. But we're going to focus on the banner or the, uh, the cover. And because there's an animated one, I'm going to go with that one. So we're going to download it. Okay. 
I'm gonna save as, and we're just gonna uh, I'm just gonna save it on my desktop, just for convenience. And what is it? Is it a yeah? It's a it's a PNG, which is weird that it's animated. All right, and now that we got that, we can minimize this. And we're going to go right here, right click, and we're going to go to manage and set custom artwork. Then you want to go to where your custom artwork is. Which I think is this one. I want to say. Yep, there we go. And that's it. That's literally all you have to do. And you know what? We'll go a step further. And we'll do, uh, we'll do set custom background as well. So we're going to go back to the website. And we're going to close out of this page because we no longer need it. We're going to go back and we're going to go down and we're going to do this one. We're going to, do, we're going to download this one. And actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, put these in its own custom, uh, its own little folder. Let's call it GTA Art. And this is so I don't mix up the, the two. All right. And now... I'm going to go back and we're going to right click and we're going to do that. Then we'll look for our new folder. Oh, there we go. TTA art. And there it is. And there you go. Custom artwork, which is pretty cool. And yeah, you can change the logo as well, but I'm not going to change the logo. The logo is just fine. Uh, but apparently you can change the position of it as well, which is something I did not know. That's actually kind of cool. Even is this? Oh, <laughs> okay. That's how you. That's how you move it. All right. So yeah, that's kind of cool. And then when you're done, you sit down and there you go. So you actually have quite a bit of a uh, customization freedom on Steam that I really did not know about until recently. So uh, I thought I would, you know, I thought I would uh, share this with you guys. So if you found this useful, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that little bell so you never miss another tutorial video. 
or any other future videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Oops.